There are some things I'd wish I'd known when I first started playing Story of Seasons, A Wonderful Life, like this. You don't have to keep trying to milk the cow and get this response. You just have to bring up the health of the cow, which tells you whether it's time to milk or not. Also, it takes 10 hours between milking sessions. I stretched this from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. and then 10 hours later at 3 a.m. in the morning, though the cow was a little too sleepy to be milked. This does carry over to the new day, so if you milk your cow late at night, you might have to wait until later in the morning. It's worth pointing out that you can check on your animals by hitting X at any stage to bring up this menu, so you can always check when you're out and about. This little icon also tells you if it's time to milk or shear, so you don't have to look at it each animal to know if it's time. Oh, and you don't have to scrub your animals every day, but you may well see the visible dirt to keep them prim and proper. On the topic of efficiency, I kept checking my bulletin board daily, hoping there was something there, but I didn't realize that you could see that there was a new one with blue notes compared to no new requests. Speaking of other visual cues, you've got an expandable delivery box which tells you've got something to receive. This is for when you sell things. When it comes to gifting to your life partner, you can actually gift up to five gifts per day, which I was educated by fellow YouTuber Josh's Gaming Garden. So thanks, Josh. Of course, I picked Naomi, which is the hardest girl, but on screen are the likes and dislikes of each of the genders. Feel free to take a screenshot, which is also linked in the description. If you head to the inn and enter the right room, which is the kitchen, you get three recipes that can be learned. Also, be sure to check in with the sprites every day in the forest to learn one recipe per day. If you're there late enough, you can wait till the tick over for the new day and still learn that recipe. When you're digging at the archeological site, you can look to see if there's anything in the hole. Sometimes you'll find debris, which gives you a higher chance at actually finding something. I accidentally stumbled across this where you can set up your own shop, which is where Van normally sets up his on the third and eighth of every season. Here you can pick up which items you want to sell and get the money straight away. It's also a great way to build up the rapport with the villagers and in particular giving discounts to your would-be spouse. When it comes to planting, you've got two gardens, but the furthest away from your house is the most fertile, so make sure you plant there. You can speed up the sowing of your seeds by holding the white button to plant in more spots than one at a time. You can also use a similar technique for plowing and watering as well, which daisy chains the animation to finish that little bit quicker. It's definitely worth ordering a chicken as you'll be able to sell each egg for 100 gold each. Once you've got yourself a rooster and a chicken, check to see if you've got a fertilized egg. It'll take around about five days to have yourself a new baby chick. Even though the sheep seem rather expensive, I'd highly recommend saving up for one as the wool from these little guys will pay itself off in just one clipping. Oh, and when you're looking for someone in the village, you can just bring up the map to look at the different zones to find the person you're looking for, which is really handy. Hit the like if you found any useful tips in this video, and here's another one for you.